Hello again, everybody. It's Dr. Steve with the NCV Music and Arts Department, and this is the second video in our series on how to practice. And this one is called Practice Toolkit. You know, every craftsman's got to have tools uh, to do their job, and that's uh, true with music performance and any kind of artistic endeavor, actually. So our little motto for this one is, uh, what good is a mechanic without a wrench or a carpenter without a hammer? If you don't have the right tools, uh, you're not going to succeed. So here's a list of tools that should be in the toolkit of every brass player. Okay, number one, make sure you have a working instrument. If it's not working, you're going to be very frustrated, and that's going to hold up your progress. Number two, make sure you try to have a place, the same place to practice every day. Have your stuff out. Maybe you can have your stand up and all, whatever books you need and other tools uh, ready to go so you don't waste a lot of time getting those things ready. Number three, a music stand. Sometimes I see people like trying to use other things for music stand, like a computer, and it makes their playing posture really bad. So just, if they're not very expensive, a little folding music stand would be great. Hopefully you can leave it out and put your stuff on it, and uh, that'll make your playing posture a lot better. Number four, a method book. If you're a beginner, uh, you'll just need one, right? So it's just a sort of a beginner method book. As you advance, you'll have to have some more. Uh, books, but they're good investments. If you take care of them, they last uh, a lifetime. I've still got some that I bought when I was uh, a teenager, and that was a very long time ago. Number five, a metronome. They look like this, or nowadays, they're in your phone. All right. Really kind of cool. That's a metronome app. Uh, music time is a half of music. So music is sound moving in time, and if you don't have good time, you really can't make music. So you should have a metronome and you should have it on almost all the time when you're practicing. Number six, a tuner. I have one that looks like this, uh, but you can also do this through your phone too. There are tuner apps, which will do the same thing. One of the things you need to learn to do is play in tune with yourself so you can play in tune with other folks. Number seven, recordings. This is something else you can use your phone for. You live in the golden age of of listening to other people play. You can get on YouTube through your phone or many other apps and listen to really good players. If it doesn't go into your head, it can't come out. So make sure you have a model that you're trying to um, imitate when you practice. Number eight, a teacher. If you can afford it, or maybe your core's got somebody teaching, try to find a good teacher. That's gonna really accelerate your progress and it's gonna make you, it's gonna motivate you to practice and you'll get a lot better a lot faster. That's it for this time, remember, uh, subscribe to our Instagram so you can see all these videos. If there's other content, we'll have that posted as well for you to download. See you next time.